Hello, hello. Hope you're all having a great, amazing Thursday. Thanks so much everybody for coming to stream. As always, you guys are so great and so sweet. I hope you're ready to play some Dew today. I know it's not Friday, and we typically do Stardew on Stardew Friday, um, but I'm just feeling like playing Stardew today. There was nothing else that was like really coming to me. Nothing else seemed exciting. Ever since yesterday, doing the Fall Guys thing, <laughs> I'm broken inside, so. <laughs> I need to relax and play some Stardew Valley. I think that'll be a really fun way to end our day. How was your guys' day? Anybody working? Anybody school? If you're doing summer class? Ayo, summer check. <laughs> Melon, oh, have fun reading your book. Thanks for lurking and hanging out. Hello, Rosie, how are you? Miss you. Hummus, hello. Kenzie, Jade, hello, hello. Moth Slushy, Angie. Got tons of cool people in here. Yeah, Stardew, we're gonna play Vegan Farm today. Um, I gotta talk about yesterday's stream. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna end stream until I got a crown in Fall Guys. And I spent about five and a half hours trying to get a crown. It's very hard, you guys. It was very hard. I was having a difficult time. I was not slaying as much as I thought I would. All of a sudden, I felt like the stages were harder, and the more I was playing, the more I was like, I really just... I do not... <laughs> I do not think that I can do this. So I didn't make it um, and get a crown. We tried at the very end to just have a lobby of just us to see if I could get a crown that way, but it didn't work out, and that's okay. I have a crown in my mind because I am the queen of everything. I'll just keep telling myself that. <laughs> Hello, Entitled Millennial. How you doing? Did you enjoy that thunderstorm last night? Dude, okay, the storm was really crazy. It was very loud and like thunderous all night. It was blasting. The sky was blasting. Tearing it up. Have to build dozens of PowerPoint slides for a deadline. I'm dying. Ew. Oh, PowerPoint. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hope that, you know what? Maybe add some fun, cutesy little colors and it'll make you feel happy. PowerPoints are kind of fun, but not a lot of PowerPoints in sequence of each other. Mm -mm. Nope. And not for work. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Hello, Chase. How you doing? Dedication is inspirational. Thanks. I guess I wasn't dedicated enough because I did not, I, I just really gave up. I, there was no way it was gonna happen for me. It was a little too hard. I I didn't expect it to be such a large undertaking. Um, speaking of the VOD, speaking of yesterday's stream, make sure you go and sub to Clips the Last. If you like to watch these streams after, um, you might have a better time watching them on Clips the Last. I was unable to get the VOD uploaded from yesterday um, I'll have to upload it tonight, like, after stream, just because it was, like, a six and a half hour stream. It was taking a lot longer to process than I thought. I suspect my internet? Oh my goodness, Pi, 3.141597, I don't remember the numbers, but 3.14 subs, K subs, that's cool. Um, but yeah, I upload all of the streams to Clips Last as well as YouTube Shorts to Clips the Last if you guys are interested in that. Um, I also, of course, have the main channel, AO main channel check. A um, couple new videos that are out and about. We've got some Sims content, Stardew Valley, um, Animal Crossing on here, of course. And then something else that we have is a new video going up tomorrow. So that's cool. That is an Animal Crossing one tomorrow, I believe. And, um, of course, if you don't know about the main channel, I mean, go follow the main channel. Um, anything else? I mean, I have the two TikToks, if you guys want to check those out. Um, nothing. Yeah, I guess that VOD is just taking a lot longer to process, so. And it took a while to upload, of course, because it's six and a half hours. Mmm! <laughs> Thanks, Krista. Yeah, I was gonna cry. I don't think I could have done it anymore. I was getting so upset at Fall Guys. And then I played it again today and I kind of, I got really close. I got 
to um, not the final round, but one round right before then, and then I got totally murked in the buttons. You know, the buttons that light up and you have to, it's like 1v1. Yeah, that one was really hard. I wasn't able to get it done. <laughs> Watching a horror it set the mood for me? Oh my gosh, what a vibe. What a vibe. Um, do I play Animal Crossing on Twitch streams? Of course I do. Happy I haven't played this week, but of course I do. Best to you, love you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Jules. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you for eight whole months. Killer. Epic. Awesome. Slay. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. First stream of yours. Love watching on YouTube, so I had to hop over. Aaron, thanks for joining. That is so cool. Let me real quick boot up Stardew Valley. So what we're going to be doing today is a continuation of our vegan save. Um, so I do a save on stream only that um, doesn't really get, ooh, doesn't really get uploaded to YouTube and it's my vegan farm. <clears throat> so this is a totally different let's play if you watch the Stardew Valley videos on YouTube. Um, it is vegan only so i can't have or produce any animal products as well as no kill so i'm not killing anything in the mines at all whatsoever and um, no fishing stuff like that that is the parameters for this sturdy valley save challenge i am currently in my ui is all over the place apparently um i'm currently in fall of year one we are still working on the community center because the exception to the vegan rule and no kill and no fishing and everything is that I am allowed to purchase items from various retailers um, and like the traveling cart and stuff. That is how I'm trying to complete my community center. So we haven't made like the best of progress ever, um, but we are slowly getting somewhere. See, my UI is like all over the place. It's all sorts of different colors. It's so strange. Um, but yeah, we have made a little bit of progress. Let me see. I think... Nope, ocean fish, nope, nope. Specialty fish. But the traveling cart has been treating us a little bit, but not so much. <clears throat> it's a little bit difficult <laughs> to obtain the items with these um, vegan restrictions, but we're kind of getting there. It's fun. It's really fun, especially we got to the bottom of the mines without killing anything. Ah, so that's pretty cool. Did not kill a single monster and... It got, it got hard there for a second, but we did end up figuring it out, so that was good. <sighs> About to break down and start killing? No. That sounds funny, but I don't think I could do, I could do that. <laughs> but, mm. I am starting to work on my relationships a little bit. Apparently, I have two hearts with Sam. What the heck? That is so random. Um, I'm making progress on my levels and stuff. Obviously, fishing and combat are going to stay at zero. And look at that. I got the skull key. Hey, I have a question, all my star doers. I know Chase is in the chat, too. That's going to be able to help me out. Um, what? How do I unlock the quarry? The quarry. Um, hello there, dear. I hope your farm is doing well. Sending you a little something from my kitchen. Um, hope it didn't crumble in the mail. Thank you for the bread, Evelyn. That's kind of sweet. Um, hello, it's blackberry season right now. The bushes are full of them. Pick some, but I lost my basket. Can you help? Oh, shit. Where's his basket? Oh, my God. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Hey, we got pumps. Would you look at that? Holy shit. Hold on. Let me check my community center thing real quick. Is the bread vegan? Actually, I think that it is, right? There's nothing... I mean... No animal products in regular bread, right? I don't know shit, though. Hmm. Aren't making honey, are you? Just realized that would be banned, too. No, I have not been making any honey. Because a lot of vegans do consider honey to be not vegan. <clears throat> Haven't been able to get into Stardew at all on my own Switch. Love your streams and videos. I'm here for this. Yes! I'm so, so happy, Worm. You have to get into it, though. It's my favorite game. The quarry is from the crafts room in the community center. One with the forageables. Interesting. Oh, yeah, bridge repair. I wonder, I could probably get there with the mine cart too, right? So whatever happens first, it'll probably end up being the bridge repair because animal bundles is going to take me a long time trying to get all those from the traveling cart or some of them. 
And then right now I have fruit bat caves, so hopefully that'll be happening for me soon because a lot of this stuff is not vegan besides jelly and cloth. You know, I haven't really been processing a lot of my crops and that's, I think, where I'm falling short here. So that's kind of a huge goal is to get some stuff going so I can process things. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, Like preserves jar. Why don't I have these? Right? And then I guess I could keg it. Good thing I, I do have those tappers on the trees. So that's great. Oh, you know what happened, actually? I think when I saved my game... Oh, yeah. The last time that we played on this save in Stodi Valley... Um, I just realized you guys can't hear. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's not like there's much going on here in terms of sound, but it's there for you. Uh, so the last time that we played was um, we could, we, I saved the game and the crop fairy came and that's why I have pumpkins at all right now. Cause see, this is all pumpkins, but she only blessed us with half of a field of pumpkins. Very cool. Oh, and these apparently, these grew. That's nice. Horn. <laughs> Hi, Tangy Crossing. Basket is past the bus. Go down the street. Oh, let's go. Oh, and we can get some blackberries. That'll be good. <laughs> Hello, Jules. Okay, wait. Uh, this way? No, other way. Past the bus. Give me your basket. Oh, is that it? Would you look at that? And I got some blackberries. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that it wasn't going to give it to me. You found the berry basket. Better return it to Linus. Yeah, sure. Don't tell me what to fucking do. <laughs> Save one for Abby's birthday. Save what? What did I say? Oh, a pump? Well, I need money. Abby's sweaty. I don't think I could give you a pump. <clears throat> My girl Abby's gonna have to <laughs> gonna have to wait. I need money. <laughs> Aaron, thanks for the follow. Did you see the H3 review of the Ace Fest? I did see that. Apparently it was a good time. Um, I thought that was gonna be a disaster, but I mean, hey. I guess they proved us all wrong. Are we Ace family now? <laughs> oh my god <clears throat> gift mod is a game changer yes I like can't if I step away from the game for a, like a week longer than a week I'm not going to be able to remember anything that I'm supposed to be doing or anything about the game so like I need mods like that that are going to help me out <sighs> hello Leona Starting Thursday slay Love you, Lissy Boo Lisp Dream. Yay! No, love you. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you're having a good day. What mods do I use? Um, they're all, if you guys do the Lissy's blog command to help out Aaron here, they're all on there, but there are a couple that are different. So if you have a specific mod, I'm sure I can help you out. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're all watered. Yeah, I need to get some preserves going. Preserve. Every time you process something, it's worth more money, right? Like, I'm not mistaken. There, there's. You should just process everything. I do our IDK. Thank you for the follow. What hat do I have on? I don't know. Straw hat. When did I get this straw hat? I think I got it from the egg festival. For kicking all the kids' asses at collecting eggs, fucking nerds. <laughs> the trees are um the trees are on there. It's a foliage mod. I think it's just called simple foliage. So if you go over there, I think it'll have a link to it. But I'm pretty sure it's called simple foliage. <clears throat> Is 
It's how I make all my money. It makes everything more valuable. Okay. There's always a pro to processing. Never a con. Fabulous. Now, are these all blubberies down here? They need to start growing in because I am baroque. As a joke. I don't have money for a shed right now. I kind of got to keep saving a little bit. I'm not getting money as quickly because um, I can't get animals. By this point, I would have chickens and cows already, typically. Because I just feel like it's always the fastest way to make money. But since I can't <laughs> do that, <laughs> I have to be creative. And I got to really get some of these going. So wood, stone, coal. Coal is a bitch, isn't it? Coal. Wow. Well, wow, 31 coal. Wood. Stone. Jesus criminy. Jesus. Oh, look, I have one. <laughs> Apparently, I already got started on it. Didn't make it very far, but I did it. Cool. Let's make some money. Um. Okay, and then if it's a higher quality item... I'm so sorry. I need... I need financial advice if it's a higher quality item should i put it in <laughs> jen thanks for the follow <clears throat> only one quality of preserves so just use the crappiest ones okay good okay good 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 because i have plenty of crappy pumpkins that's what i thought but i i just you know again like i said i don't remember a damn thing whenever i boot up this fucking game okay so um what's going on in life what are you guys up to <laughs> anybody been doing anything crazy cool would you look at that wow okay we'll do blackberries in there why do i have all this shit um as fun as it would be to keep pumpkin, because I'm pretty sure I can make a pumpkin pie and it's vegan. Can I? I think I've decided I'm not allowed to cook anything that's non-vegan. I don't know. It just feels strange. Um, pumpkin pie, Stardew Valley. We talked about this last time and I think it's a cop-out. <laughs> Might just take me a real long time to do the community center, but I just think it is. So, it is not Oh, we should really talk about this, though, because if we're going to do vegan only, if I get the ingredients to do something, oh, shit, I'll save, I'll, I put all the pumpkins in there, but what I'm going to do is for the community center, I'm going to wait for the other batch of pumpkins to grow in because we still need eggplant and yam. And I need the money now. Um, and I'm telling myself that because I did just put it in and I'm not restarting the day. <laughs> but we have more pumpkins growing. It's okay. Um, shit balls. Oh my god. So silly. Um, Brett. Now what else? I have no spare seeds, so I need to go get nine of something. And I think I'm just going to grab some more pumpkin. Right? What is uh, more worth it to plant that's maybe not blueberries? <clears throat> Processing gold crops will increase the value, but it's still worth it to sell them out. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, I was confused on how that worked. I didn't know if it would just be, like, worth the same or what. It probably is always worth it to just do it, right? Hey, Sebastian, for the first time in Stardew, and that's somehow the mo it's most interesting thing to happen to me right now? Oh, that's sick. Uh, what do you think I should buy? I have some money. I have a little bit of money in a bank. <clears throat> what variant of L seasonal buildings are you using? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just the default one. I don't think I changed it. I'd have to check when I save. If you click the thing you sell stuff in, can't teach it. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it. 
What do you guys want? What do you guys think I should buy? What do you think is most worth it? Or, um, cranberry? I mean, yeah? I think I've been saying blueberries all day. But I think I meant cranberries. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what's growing underneath. God, I hope so, because that would be very worth it for me. Well, since I have the money for it, I will be buying nine of them. Because, yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good for me. Nine, right? God, I can't do fucking math. <clears throat> Content pa content patcher. And I have just the generic mod config menu, and I don't think I've edited anything about the seasonal buildings since I put it in recently, but I can check. Um do 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 Cranberries. See, I hope all of these are cranberries. That would be nice for me. That would be really sick, but I have a feeling that it's fucking corn. Ah! So I'll start a little bit of cran. I just spent like half my money on cranberries. And then I have some jars going, but you know what? I think I need to give Linus this berry basket and potentially just head on over to the mines today because... Coal is kind of an issue, and also, like, just lacking stone. I'm lacking hard. Um, and since I'm vegan, there we go. Perfect. This should be a good enough haul. Oh, yeah. Should be a good enough haul. Oh, there's an eggplant for me to donate. Whoa, didn't see you there. Is that an eggplant, or are you just happy to see me? <clears throat> Most money I've seen you have? Oh my god, it's so sad. I logged on to my um, previous, my main save the other day. Because um, I figure maybe I can try working towards perfection on that one. I don't know, I, I was just in a Stardew Valley kick, and I also, I think that was the day that my stream went offline last week, and I didn't have internet, and I had Stardew Valley open, and I was like, well, I guess I'll just play <laughs> and so i i went on um to the main save and i had like half a million dollars i was like god damn must be fucking nice bourgeoisie alert she could send money to other players <laughs> that'd be so cute you know what okay i've been think i've been pondering this for so long you know what's really bugging me is there are no more like online virtual world games that are cool and fun and epic and awesome. And I wish that we had more of that where we could build our own cutesy little online worlds, have our own cutesy little houses. It's just sad. It's just so sad. No more Gaia online. Sucks now. I was on Habo Hotel the other night. <laughs> Did you guys play Habo Hotel? I was on it the other night, and it was actually kind of cool. Like, I felt like people were online doing things, you know, talking to each other. It wasn't half bad, I will say. It's my favorite as a kid. Oh, dude. I think that my favorite had to have been... Had to have been Habo Hotel, or I loved, probably one of my first ones was Nictropolis and Toontown. Where the fuck is Linus? Linus alert, Major Linus alert. Vontrosity, thank you. I never did Webkins. <clears throat> Pop Tropica. Oh shit, Linus is right there. <laughs> Oh my god, I totally forgot about that. Okay, so silly. Whoa, I got so many blackberries. I also keep forgetting about this man over here. I keep forgetting to blow this shit up. Um, I'm gonna try to like, I don't know, I guess like farm something. Oh shit, I hate here, actually. There we go. 
Um, I wish I knew what ore I was low on. Oh, gold. Gold is primarily my problem. Ah, shit. But I'll come and I'll get... I'll just do this for today. I'm just here for um, a good time, not a long time or whatever the fuck. <laughs> also, don't let me kill anything. I can't forget that I'm not allowed to kill shit. <clears throat> Movie Star Planet! Absolutely, Ella. I just felt like playing Stardew today. One coming out called Palea. I hope I'm saying that right, Mbats. It's like online Stardew. Looks very cute and the servers are small. Palea. And it's a MMO. When is this coming out? It's giving mobile game vibes. <laughs> but like, is that a bad thing? It looks super interesting. It reminds me of like Wizard 101. That's like one of my first impressions I'm getting as well, like graphically. It's cute. I just, I want to do cute stuff like that. Yeah, because you know, I also have played RuneScape still, old school RuneScape for like ever. I don't really play that much anymore. I stopped paying for my membership, so I haven't really gone on in a while. But, like, it's not popping. People aren't on there. Nobody's like, doing fun shit anymore. Just sad. <clears throat> Gone are the days of the online MMO. Gone are the days role-playing with random weirdos online. Okay, you guys. This is not cool and not very fun for me. Okay. Love you so much, but you guys have got to stop. I want to be over here where all the rock is. <clears throat> Wizard 101 was my childhood. I never had, like, membership in Wizard 101, so I never played it that much because <clears throat> you could only hang out in, like, one area if you didn't have a membership. It was really sad. <laughs> Hello, Kiro. I've never heard of Lord of the Rings Online. No way. I've never even heard of that. You know what I did boot up was Maple Story, and it really pissed me the fuck off, dude. I feel like Maple Story really fell off. It was bad. It was like a really terrible experience. It just because it was so hard to boot up the game, I'm like, I don't. I feel like I'm smarter than I was when I was eight. Like, why is this so hard to like play? It was so difficult. I was so mad. <clears throat> Making you upset with Maple Story Slander. Do you still play? Because, like, I, I'm willing to give it another shot, but it makes me so mad. I was like, for real? Like, do, you're gonna make this the game this inaccessible? Also, hi, Charlize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! What is tinier me? What is that? <clears throat> I just miss it. It just, you know, I look on it, I look back on it nostalgically. Okay, everybody. Hey, I am not here to tango with you. I'm here. Do not get in front of my pickaxe. You little slut. You slut pig. Good thing I have a stupid amount of blackberries. Oh, there's a ladder up here. Dude, I've been looking for a ladder. It's like right there. That is so funny. That's hilarious. Oh, here's another one. Um, let's get some ore. Oh my god, ore. 
I don't know why I'm doing this. I just have nothing to do today, I guess. <gasps> Hello? Jay Lins. Thank you, thank you for the tier one for five months. Thank you for being a part of our community and being in our sub club. Also, by the way, um, anybody that is subbed and not a part of our sub only discord section make sure you link your discord so you can get access to that perk come hang out come chat <laughs> until the day i die i don't think i stand maple story as much as you fake fan <laughs> I, I i don't remember it being i personally i liked gaia better Obsessed with vegan farm, but I think I'd cry if I tried. Thank you. Yeah, I, I want to cry sometimes. <laughs> Definitely understandable. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. I don't want to deal with that, man. Don't want to deal with it. Thank you for the resub, by the way. Appreciate you for two months. Thank you, thank you. It's truly an honor. Any ores over here? You guys got a horse? Oh, God. Um, I don't really want to go up there. Alright, I'm going. Leaving. See ya, nerds. Have fun being all alone down here in the mines. <laughs> I keep seeing shit that I want. Oh, God. I'm not dealing with it. I am not dealing with it. I only got two coal from being down here. Goodbye. <clears throat> All for the guilds. Also that kid that roleplayed her Neopets in the Neopets forums. Okay, yes. Yes. Absolutely. No shame in that. I still... I haven't logged on Neopets into like, in, for like a couple months. I made a new one like last year. Because I can't get access to my old account. I don't even know what the fucking name of the account is. I'm, I'm Keys. Thank you for the follow. Sorry, I don't know. Um, but. Um, I, it was kind of. It was nostalgic, sure. But like, it's just never going to be the same, you guys. It's just never going to be the same. Makes me. I just, I long for those. That time. Hey. Let me go to bed. You didn't roleplay your new pets. Did you really play new pets? Lechid. Thank you for the follow. Also, hello. <clears throat> um, Jario. Jar Thank you for hosting the stream, by the way. I appreciate it. <clears throat> wait, fish tank and Gaia? What are you talking about? Oh my god, wait. What is it? Fish tank and Gaia? I don't even know what that is. <clears throat> Managed to log back in, and it's definitely not the same as the old school layout. Too updated for me. That's when I'm realizing I'm getting old. No, I like... <clears throat> I understand why these sites want to, like, update and everything, but I think that's, like, such a low priority for Neopets because half of their fucking, like, website doesn't even work. So, like, why are we updating... Why are we focused on, like, updating the web design when like you can't even access half of the site right now you know it's a little frustrating i get that flash player being discontinued kind of like fucked shit up for a lot of these websites and that's why a lot of them don't exist um but like come on i don't really care about how it looks necessarily i just want it to be functional <laughs> Jericho. Oh, there you go. See, that makes sense. That makes sense. Phonetically, that makes sense. Thank you for the stream, by the way. Appreciate it, Jericho. Um, okay, so I'm putting all that away. I should have I should have sold the aquamarine. But I'm gonna keep literally all of my blackberries. Uh dear Broccolis, we're holding the Stardew Valley Fair in the town square. That's hilarious. That's like super funny that that's gonna be happening. 
Do I have anything grown in today? Oh, I have a whole other crop field. You're kidding. No wonder I'm so poor. Ever since you guys told me corn literally does not make money, I'm like, damn. Um, less is more, I guess. I just thought, you know, the most crops. Let me have the most crops, and then I will make the most money. No. Um, apparently that's not correct. Forgot your name was Broccolis. How could you forget? Never forget. <laughs> Until the day I die. That's gonna be stuck in my head all day. Got done streaming myself. Stream looked really interesting. Well, thank you, Jericho. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, um, I don't know. Do you guys think my stream is interesting? And thanks for the follow. <laughs> What's the consensus here, y'all? Let's not talk Neopets. Still traumatized after my account was hacked and my unconverted Marquan. Marquan. I never know how to say any Neopet out loud. So, like, you have got to forgive me because I just, however I pronounced it as a kid, that's it's sticking, you know? Um, with a good name was stolen. Wow. To have an unconverted pet, though, like, that's a really big deal. Also, pomegranate check. Yes, pomegranate check. Oh, not artisan. It's a uh, bulletin, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So pomegranate check. That's awesome. You know what? I'll just take an eggplant over for good mesh. <laughs> Anything else? No. Hey. But I think it's like 10 hay, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'll have 10 hay if I cut my grass right now. Until the day I die. Oh, wait. How do you access stuff from the silo? Do I need a... You just left click on it? Okay. I was going to say. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Do I need an animal building to get the hay out of the silo? This is so traumatic. Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, so let me just real quick go buy some fucking hay. Just so I can like put it in there. God damn it, why would you do this to me? F you game. Can't buy it from Arnie's? Yeah, I can. I just, I want, I bought a silo because I was thinking like, oh, how cool, like, ah, oh, fuck. Can I get to Marnie's? <laughs> I was just thinking, like, oh, how cool. Um, like, I, I can cut my grass and I can at least get something out of it. But if I don't have an animal building and I can't access my hay, then is it worth it? No. That was... That's so silly. Oh. I don't like that. Not a fan. Hmm. I thought I was playing the long game. Don't need it, but I was just saying, like... Whatever, you guys wouldn't get it. <laughs> Charlize, I actually don't know who that is. I do not. Typically, when I'm on TikTok, if I see somebody doing a skit, that's an immediate swipe. I don't know why, you guys. I was in theater. Skits make me so secondhand embarrassed. I can't watch them. Is there anybody else who can relate at all? Vince, 
Welcome. Post them. I will watch them, but maybe I'm alone in this sentiment. <sighs> Ooh, apple. Apple check. Don't get rid of any of your apples, Liz. Do not do that. Pomegranate, and then um, I do have a, just an eggplant. Typically don't. Anything emo related has my heart. Okay, understandable. Yeah, for me, there's typically no exceptions. I cringe so hard when I watch skits or pranks. Yeah, I just can't do it. I just can't. I don't know. Like, I appreciate, like, uh, sketch comedy and... Improv. Like, anything. I appreciate it all. But for some reason, I can't watch it on TikTok. The only one I actually... Okay, there are exceptions. Hold on. Hold on. Um, let me see. I followed a person recently that I think it's... It's okay. I don't even think I'm going to be able to find her because I don't even know what her TikTok's about, what she looks like. I don't even remember. It'll come to me eventually. <clears throat> I did not get my win in Fall Guys yesterday. I gave up. I raged way too hard. I had to stop. I was starting to get mad at chat. I was like, yeah, this has to end. <laughs> This isn't healthy. This is not a healthy relationship. <laughs> Dynamic for us. <sighs> what is skunk on TikTok? King Bok vibes? Oh my god. <laughs> what? I feel like I haven't heard that name in a while. I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. Can't watch those embarrassing ass real life pr pr ranks that people do yeah i don't like that stuff typically either i cringe oh it's a made-up character but i love him i would die for him what is skunk is that what you said i can get rid of plums and stuff hey um there was a hater in my comments section recently Oh yeah, you guys, somebody was a big ol' hater about whoever has been telling me that tea saplings, when you sell them, make money. Anybody want to defend themselves? I haven't tried it yet. <clears throat> I figured we could give it a try, but there's somebody out there that thinks you guys are dead wrong. So, oh, why am I not putting stuff in the kegs? I need to wow. be doing that. Um, anything else that I can do today? I don't know. It's like a waste of a fucking day, honestly, when it rains. I guess I could just go to the mines again. What all am I? Let's see. I know I want gold so I can make more keg, and I'm pretty sure that those correlate, right? But I need coal. And so, copper I'm really low on. Yeah, maybe I'll just go do some copper real quick. Why not? Why not? Just do it. They do sell for 500 G. Somebody said it was super not worth it. And whoever, they said, quote, whoever's suggesting that to you is trying to sabotage you. <laughs> Chat wrong, never. I know, I was like... I was like, oh, okay, interesting. I don't know. I haven't done it yet or some. I don't remember what I said. Like, oh, if it doesn't, if it's not worth it, maybe I won't do it. But I'm going to try, maybe. <laughs> Here, say hi to your kitty for me. That's so cute. Ah! 
Hello, Ash. Blee. How you doing? <clears throat> they had their opinion. Fi 311? B311? Thank you. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, just kidding. I've already donated you. That's not as exciting. Oh, dude, you guys have got to stop letting me forget to bring a little bomb. What do I need to do to make a bomb? Copper and coal. Okay, maybe before we leave if I have enough. And where does copper pop up? I'm assuming, like, ASAP. Until the day I do. <clears throat> They're just coffee drinkers, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. They're like, tea is literally such a waste of time. I hate you if you have tea saplings in your Stardew Valley save. Uh, what the heck? No copper? No bitches? The tea itself sells poorly. Uh, but at the start are the money makers maybe they were confused yeah i was also thinking that too like because you guys specifically said the tea saplings and the tea saplings are the money maker here we go i wish i could see a damn thing in here but that's cool get away from me rock crab i want nothing to do with you um so that could definitely be an explanation to what they said Who's willing to lay down all their credibility bet, credibility for the tea saplings? No! No! I hate it here. So, I, I can't like accidentally hit one of them. Dude. I just like can't risk it. God, it's just, it's cutting it so close. I feel like I would kill it if I accidentally hit. Stop. Give me a ladder. Jesus criminy. Soiled petals, thank you. Is that a- no, that's a box. God, I'm so scared to hit you. Stop it. Okay, well, waste of fucking time. I'll just go to the next. So no ladder? Yeah, no, I'm leaving. Go to the next block. Energy drink drinker, so I'm true neutral. I like all three. I really do, I mean, I'm a Red Bull girl. I'm a coffee enthusiast and I'm a tea enjoyer. Mm. Have fun at the store. Coffee drinkers are haters. I mean, I'm a coffee drinker and I'm a hater. But what does that say about society? Hey. You guys suck in here. Any copper? No, none at all. Okay, that's super cool. Not even a little bit. Okay. Watch, and then something's gonna come flying at me right now. It's gonna be annoying. Oh, there's some. That's nice. Oh, and there's Jade over there. Did you guys see that? <clears throat> Get the fuck. <gasps> I almost hit that guy. I didn't even know he was in there. No, that would have been terrible. Oh my god. That could have been horrible. Get back. Another jade. That's cool. I will take it. No complaints. 
through terror of the vegan farm it's pretty <laughs> it's okay we've made it to the bottom of the mines without killing but it's kind of it's a challenge to not accidentally kill something swifty crow thank you i appreciate that so much you're an energy drink hater <clears throat> I'm just, I'm a Red Bull only. Like, I don't drink any other energy drink, really. Never have, never will. It's a lifestyle. I'm committed. It's who I am. I'm feeling exhausted after being outside today. It's disgusting. It was really humid because it thunderstormed last night. It was a lot. <laughs> Yay! Jackpot! Look at all of this! And Earth Crystal, you're joking. You're joking. Let's freaking go, you guys. I don't want to be anywhere near the bugs. I keep accidentally killing them. Oh god, you stupid slut. You pig slut. Ooh, copper! <gasps> that was so... That was so careless. I almost... I almost fucking hit him. Can you guys literally go do something else? Like, I can't accidentally hit you. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Danny, thank you so much for using your Prime. Thank you, I appreciate you. You know what? I gotta get the fuck out of here, because I can't... I can't hit any rocks when I have them all on me like that. God damn. I did get a little bit of copper. Ah, a little bit. But thank you for using your prime on me. I appreciate that. Welcome to the sub club. I have to pee already, too. Looked at the weather in Arizona out of interest. Don't know how you do it. Well, what, how, how hot is it? It sucks here. Like, I actually fucking hate it. Okay, 110. <laughs> 110 right now. And how do I check humid? 18%? I mean, I don't know if that's typical for here, but it felt very humid today. <laughs> they just want to be me. <laughs> um... Okay, let's uh, let's just go here or something. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I don't like that guy actually. Go somewhere else, dude. I can't with these bats. Freaking bat. Oh, maybe I'll get some coal down here. I don't know. It's possible. Do I not have any food though? Just in case, you know, don't want to get myself into a pickle. <clears throat> no! I already pillaged it. You're joking. I got a new weapon. Fucking useless. And a bone fragment, though. Not something that I can typically get on my own. Dude, that fireman is scary. Do you guys see him? The little pink guy? Pink ball? Stop. Crazy. Mentally delusional. Okay, well. Like, nothing here for me anyways, so. I'm just gonna go. Like, this is so unsuccessful. I'm not prepared at all to be here. <clears throat> Staying indoors lately, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty unpleasant, you know. Hello, Abby. Thanks for being here. 79 here? Where are you? What are your coordinates? <laughs> I want to go there. The hell? Mid-80s in LA. Haven't even turned the air on in days. I love it. That's so deeply upsetting 
Why would you tell me that? <laughs> ah, that's just crazy. Crazy how cool it feels out there, probably. Oh, I'm selling you, Topaz. Yes. Um, I don't know what to do with the sword. I'll keep the bones. It's like my random stuff section. Oh, also, I'm gonna sell the red mushroom. How? Okay, I'm. I can only sell the armor in the Adventurers Guild. Yes or no? Because that is gonna be a toughie for me specifically. Bummer. <clears throat> I want to swim too. I made some money. Oh my goodness. This is like my biggest haul of money that I've ever had, honestly. This fucking game. Uh, being a vegan, it's tough out here. Oh. 9-11. Anyways, um, I'm going to pee really quickly. Okay, I am back. Thank you for waiting. Sorry. I just had to pee just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, Let's get back into it. So what was I doing? On my farm. Um, I just woke up. Hello, happy Wednesday. Um, I already know how to cook stir fry. Oh, I gotta water my fucking crops today. What a buzzkill. And I have no, nothing grown. Rip. Anyways. <laughs> Did I ever get a crown yesterday? No, I actually gave up. <coughs> We tried at the very end to um, have me host a lobby that you guys could join so I could get a crown if everybody just kind of like jumped off and lost. Melon Gundrop, hey, thank you, thank you for the tier one. That's very nice of you. Thank you so much for being so awesome. But yeah, it didn't really work out super well because I still suck, so. <laughs> Have some corn? Oh, oh shit, there is some corn up there. I didn't even see that. Thank you, because I would have just disregarded it and not even known. Hold up, let me get my corn. All my corn grows at different times, which, is that a blessing or a curse? Don't know, don't know. I'm getting real sick and tired of watering my corn, I will tell you that much. Um. How do you make good sprinkler? Iron, gold, refined quartz. Iron, gold, refined quartz. Yeah, fuck this. Is there a weird number? Hold up. There isn't. Okay, super worth it. <laughs> super worth it. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother to water that one. Um, can I also maybe make two more sprinklers though? Would that be so great? Um, ugh, it sucks to use the coal. Maybe. Abby, thanks for the follow. Didn't work very well because some people weren't jumping off. Well, I did say I wouldn't be mad if you guys still just wanted to play normal. It's not a big deal. I'm not mad or anything. I'm mad at Ball Guys for um, being so freaking hard. Why does that game get... It, it, it's, it's just crazy. Cut me some slack. I'm not, a, I'm not the best, but I really want to win. <laughs> no, I'll get there someday. I need to practice more. I need to come to you guys um, with more skillage. What is happening? Hello? Someday it'll happen for me. It'll be so cool.
Melon Gumchop, what are you guys talking about? <clears throat> I tried to play Fall Guys with my BF yesterday so bad while he was just gliding through, dragging him down. It was embarrassing. Everyone's got to learn somewhere. Everyone's got to learn how to be a Fall Guy somewhere. Sometime. Genshin. Oh, yeah. I still want to get into it. I still want to try to play it. Maybe that's the online virtual worlds that I'm looking for, that I'm craving. I don't know. I'd, I'd be super into it. I know that I would. I just haven't, I haven't sat down and dedicated any time to it. I downloaded it on my phone and my phone was like, no, you don't have room for this. Like, okay. Sorry, I'll never ask again. All right, cool. I'll be able to make two more sprinklers at least, so that's nice. Um, oh, I should probably also just throw some wood in there. I don't really want to, but... That's a lot of wood. A lot of wood for, like, no fucking return. Everything else is cool. It's Wednesday, so I can't buy any seeds or anything, even though I have buttloads of money. Um, instead of going to the mines and wasting my time again, let's clear off some of the farm, honestly. Play on PC, not mobile. Yeah, I have it, um, um, I have to download it on PC. But yeah, I tried to play it on mobile just, you know, to see if I could casually just get into it, and it was, like, excessively large, like, not that fact. But yeah, I haven't downloaded it on my PC either, because to be honest, I, my PC storage space is also kind of an issue. I have too much shit on here. I gotta finish um, some games and get them off my computer. I don't want to buy any more storage or anything. Thank you, I love this grass. You play Genshin Hello. on the iPad? That sounds like fun. <laughs> Hello, Santa. <clears throat> Recommend being free to play. Um, I don't know how Genshin works. I heard that it's mostly like microtransactions, but I heard it's not like terrible. It's still like a semi enjoyable experience. I'm tired of paying for shit. Except for maybe the Pusheen skin in Fall Guys. Isn't it cute? It just looks like so much fun. It looks adorable. You can play on an external drive if you want to. Yeah, you can move like all of your shit if you want to play on an external drive. I mean... It's probably safer and easier to just get a SSD, like another one for just games. My problem is I have like one SSD that's relatively small that has like basically just like system files on it. And then I have another one that has like all of the video stuff on it basically. And then I like can kind of fit in games. And I'm like, okay, I need to either take Elden Ring and The Sims off or I need to just buy another one. <laughs> you just bought it it's so cute Ugh, i'm so jealous i'm so jealous i want to get it is there any way to get it with just playing the pusheen skin i'm gonna go to the little sauna by the way want to do that for the sims but i have not probably a good idea play mostly for the story and characters could care less about grinding oh i'm so the opposite i i don't play genshin but I'm so the opposite, like, in any game ever, I will skip all of the dialogue. I don't give a single shit what's going on. I'm really bad, huh? There are some things that I can get into, though. Absolutely. I love grinding. That's why... That's why I love shit like... RuneScape... Why I was having a hard time getting into Maple Story because it was so much fucking dialogue for some reason. I was like, bruh, where the bitches at? 
<laughs> Buttercup, thank you. Welcome. What do you guys do with this big area? Does anyone put anything cool over here? Playing Genshin for a year now and I love it. I'm so late to the game. <laughs> I'm so late. Played it for seven hours today, getting quests done, just spamming away all the dialogue. Accidentally in a dialogue loop for two minutes and didn't realize. <laughs> I do the same thing, oh my god. All the lores in the dialogue, no. Sometimes I don't... There are some things that I don't play for the lore. There's other things I'll play for the lore, but most things, like... Um, Cozy Grove, for instance, no fucking idea what that game is about. But I like playing it because I, I like doing the grindy kind of stuff. And I like going and completing little tasks. But I could give two shits about the story in that game. <laughs> it's too much dialogue and it's not interesting to me at all. <laughs> so I don't know how that makes you guys feel, but <laughs> but like Stardew Valley, like I feel like the dialogue is like perfect. You know, it plays like a Harvest Moon game, obviously. And the dialogue is like, just like the most perfect amount. <clears throat> okay, I'm going. I'm gonna go chop more tree. Bonnie, you just get to go take a little dip. Looks like I'm going for a swim. I gotta get on Genshin, because I have been, like, bored lately. I've just been reading my History of Ancient Greece book, which I can only read so much of at a time. Oh, shit! Yo! What? Perfect timing! No way! Oh, that's so cool. Since when does that happen, you guys? Since when? That's awesome. Seven geodes. Super cool. Okay, vibes. I've never... I've never had that happen before. That was such impeccable timing. <clears throat> The train stuff will be there the next day? I didn't know that. That's crazy. I had no idea. <laughs> Rosie's mad. Like, what the fuck? How do you see the train? I don't see the train. Um, okay, I guess... Oh, I need to break these open. I need to break all of these open. Tomorrow, that's... Don't let me forget, I want to do that. Yes. Um, so iron, quartz, gold bois. Cool. Yeah. Fuck this corn. Nice. Now I don't have to worry about it ever again. I only have to water these two fields and then the one big one that's over there. Moving up in the world, aren't we? Okay, cool. Um, all of that can just get sold so I can make at least some money and I will continue to clear out some tree. You plant trees over there. That's a good way to use the space. I think I've done that before on my main save. Like, back in the day, I always, um, for my, okay, so, like, I had, like, the first time I ever played was on Switch or whatever, and then I had, um, used that area for something. I think I put, like, some craftables up there, and then, like, I mostly planted trees in the quarry. And then, um, what else? On my other main save that's on PC, um, I have Stardew Valley Expanded, and that area is taken up by Susan's farm in Stardew Valley Expanded, so it's not really being used for much of anything useful for me, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck! 
fuck all these trees growing? Get out of here, beaches. That was a little excessive. I'm just gonna plant more trees over here. Jessica, Dominique, thank you for the follow. I go to bed. Nothing else to do. I guess I could just keep chopping. Fuck. So boring. Snooze fest. Do you like expanded? Play on Switch? I don't know if I should start playing on PC I have expanded game. Well, it is like a mod that is definitely not like perfect. It adds a lot. It just, I guess, depends on like what all you want to do. I can't cry. I can't see a damn thing. I need that little glow ring. I don't have it. Ah! Uh, but... I think that it's... cool? To be honest, if I'm being so totally honest, I think it's too much. I think the expanded mod... If it was like, if there was half of what it was, it would Miss, be perfect. Miss you bestie it's list so much. tiny PLS. KKB, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you for using your prime, and I appreciate the five months. You're awesome. Um, does anybody else feel that? I don't know. It's like far too big of a mod. There's way too many large, large ass areas that like, why are they so big? Like, why did we just like make a, this giant ass forest like completely unwalkable with like a bunch of dead space you know that's just like i just i i think the expanded mod is fun i think if you want to play on pc and get mods like totally go for it um it's a different experience but all in all i think the game is like excellent too on its own <clears throat> if it wasn't expanded but just somewhat enlarged yes <laughs> exactly Okay, I need to go. Need to go to bed. Let's go. But, yeah, other than that, like, I, I definitely think it's pretty fun. It adds some cool new characters that I have yet to get to know really that deep. Definitely don't, like, start playing Stardew Valley, and that's, like, the first mod that you download before you've played the game before. I would never recommend anybody do that. Level 8 foraging! Want to try expanded, but it's so large, it's so overwhelming. It's a lot. You can probably get a lot more out of it if instead of starting a game with Stardew Valley Expanded, you just throw it into your main save, like, once you've done a bunch of stuff and gotten pretty far and obviously, like, understand the game and, like, know kind of things that happen so that you can also differentiate, like, what is expanded and what is not. Is it raining? Oh, I did all those sprinklers for nothing. I did get some pickled pumpkin. Nice. Okay. Word. Look at that. I'm gonna sell my pickles. <clears throat> have the opposite issue where I played on Switch, don't have a PC, and want more to do. Once you do most of the Ginger Island stuff, I feel like it's repetitive. Definitely, like, I would recommend getting it on PC if you can if you're thinking like oh should I buy it on switch or buy it on PC just buy it on PC so that you have the option that it's there if you want to like add in all of that stuff all of the stuff in the things if you can what is all of this stuff doing outside What are we doing here? Put this way. If you had a PC, you'd never leave your house. <sighs> That's a vibe. It's a vibe. Okay, what do I have all of this shit for? Like... Do I need to buy another fridge? I mean, I wish I had money. Can I make anything at all? No, like, it's so hard to do that. But I have all of those different versions of forageables. 
And I've been saving a bunch of it because, like, I don't know what is used to make a tea sapling. <laughs> okay, let's figure this out right now. Tea sapling. Selling this is 500 golds. It has been suggested to me that this is a good way to make money. So wild seeds are used to make them. And then these are forageables to make wild seeds okay well where are we for summer i definitely didn't save any spring stuff but summer spiceberry grape sweet pea Okay, cool. That frees up a lot of space. And then how about um, fall? What is the fall? It's mushroom, plum, hazelnut, blackberry. Okay, so mushroom. Oh, well, I don't have a lot. Plum, hazelnut, blackberry. I just have the one. The one mush. Which is cool. Okay, great. So, but in order to get the tea saplings, I need to be friends with Caroline. And then in order to plant them in pots, right? Do they need to go in pots? In order to do that, I think I need to be friends with Evelyn. Let's see. Let me read up. Um, tea sapling takes 20 days to grow into a tea bush. Oh, wait. I don't need to grow them. All I need to do is... Craft it. Okay, sorry. I'm a little confused because I've just never done this before. So let me get some wood and some fiber um, and be friends with Caroline because I don't have I don't have friendship with her. Oh, eggplant. Maybe I could give her an eggplant today. <laughs> what else does she like? I don't even know. Um, I think she likes the summer spangle off the top of my head, but I don't know. Summer Spangle, green tea, fish taco, taco curry. I'm going to give her an eggplant. Oh, yam. Yam alert. Hells yeah. Okay. I understand tea saplings now. Um, okay. Pumpkin. Pumpkin's coming in hot really soon here. If I wouldn't have sold the other ones, which is fine. But I could donate a yam, give Caroline an eggplant. Rules of this run? Well, I don't know if I have it in the title or not. No animals, no killing, no fishing. I can do the community center, but I can't... Um, I have to get... I can buy non-vegan stuff, but I can't. Oh, geodes. Thank you, Ella. You're the best. I'm going to go run back and get geodes. That's actually more important. Uh, I can't obtain the non-vegan items, but I can, like, buy them. So traveling cart's pretty huge. And that's kind of it. I'm still going to try the community center as much as I can. Might take me a while, but we've been getting kind of lucky so far. You know what? Fuck it. I will break open the Omni Geode. <clears throat> Want to do Geodes too? Yes, thank you for the reminder, Ella. <clears throat> Always forget the traveling cart. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't forgotten yet, but I definitely don't want to jinx myself. Ah, that would suck. So bad. Before I did the save, I would never remember it, really. Alright. So we've got Frozen up first. Now, should I, any Stardew experts, any reason for me to save the Omnis? I wonder if... Perhaps, let me look it up. Um, the Desert Trader. What do you do? 
for Omni Geodes. Artifact Troves, and I can get some Warp Totems. Sorry, I think I'm covering it. Um, whoa. What happened there? Okay, so I could start saving the Omni Geode. How close am I even to getting access to the desert, though? That is big, because if it's not worth it for me to save them, I'm literally just not going to, because it might take me a long time to get there. Uh, let's see. Bus repair. That one is just money. Hopefully I'll start making actual real money soon. So, um, I think that I'm going to save them. I think it'll be worth it for me. Not worth it at this time. Resource museum goods get them to be better now. I think I'm going to save them. I, I think that I'm not too far off from being able to, oh, I don't have enough room. Huh. Damn. Go to the desert. I think I could do it at the beginning of year two. Okay, all of these are cool, though. <laughs> Give me a couple slots. <laughs> God damn it. I thought I had all three rows of my inventory. I just don't. <laughs> Is that new? Yes. Calcite, that's new. That is not new. Granite. You slut. Whoa, that's definitely new. Okay, let me go donate those two because now I'm, I have a debacle with my inventory space as always. I always do this to myself. <laughs> Jada actually doesn't. You have to go to your regular inventory. Yeah! Is this your one? Yes, this is fall of your one. If the rest of these were all just coal, I would not complain at all. God damn it, this is gonna be so complicated. What is that? Okay, cool. Okay, vibes. Yo! What are you? Sick, okay. <laughs> Running back and forth, <laughs> I promise. Have you and EJ done more on a co-op farm? No, I don't think he was super interested in continuing that. Probably because I'm boring. Ooh! What is my new present? What? No way! Um, that's super epic, but I have to leave it <laughs> right now. I will come back for it later. He's as criminy. I didn't expect my inventory to fill up so fast. Okay, I'm gonna go run over and do something real quick. And then hopefully it'll free up some inventory space. Ah! Hello. Hello, Rock. <clears throat> Ella, I will do that too. I'll leave it literally running overnight because I'm like, I don't have time to do this right now. <laughs> like sometimes after a Stardew Valley stream, it'll literally be on overnight. I'm so bad. Okay, let me donate my yam. Because if I try to sell the yams first, I'm going to screw it up. Absolutely. 
Pumpkin. Yeah. Let's go. If you hover over it, it says it. Not when you're selling it. You have to go in your regular inventory. I wasn't trying to give Abigail anything, right? I want to be Caroline's friend. I don't care about any of you other hoes. Yes, she's in here. What do you think she would like more? Eggplant or yam? Um... I'm gonna give her an eggplant. Goodness, are you sure? I am so sure. Okay, I don't need to donate these at all. It's not blinking at me. Earth Crystal is blinking at me. I totally forgot about you, actually. Um... Okay, goodbye. Farewell. <laughs> um, I'll save, I'll process some blackberries when I get home into jam. It's fine. Look at me, I have so much money. You're joking. Okay, gotta go process these J.O.'s. The weird religion they worship in Stardew. I wish I knew more about it, but they worship like a thing called Yoba. I like to think that it's Yoda. <clears throat> they worship Jesus Christ in this game. Christ Almighty up above. That's a new one. That's a new one. Is this a new one? Yes. Oh my God, how lucky are we? On a roll. Except for not that one. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta get a dud. I'll take the gold. What is that? <gasps> Brand new? My first iridium! You're joking! Baby's first iridium ore. That's so funny! Alright, well, cool. I will take it. When do I get the key? Obsidian vase. <laughs> Isn't it? Is it thirty? Right. For the sewers, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Thirty things donated. Fifty things donated. One million. Sixty. Forty. 60. I think I'm pretty far off from that. I could be kind of close. One, two, well, haven't donated that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Mm hmm. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 47, why would you lie to me, mumbo jumbo, so 47, kind of close, and then we'll get in the sewers, which will be epic. Why is this blinking at me? Discover the purpose of the skull key. No thanks. <laughs> I should probably make more crop. Um, she wants an amaranth. Marnie. Whatever. I love that cat crow. My god, it's so freaking cute. 
Um, so maybe I could grow that like really quickly. I don't know. Claws, thanks for the follow. I don't know what amaranth is. Um, me either. Is it a flower? Lady Twitch streamer? when you'll have better luck with the Lissy's Lissy's blog command. I have most of them listed on there with links. AMR rant. Grapes. Am I planting any flowers? Okay, here's what I'll do is I'm going to do nine and nine of these. And then I can keep the fairy roses for gifts, maybe. Because I have a little bit of disposable income right now. Okay, and a fucking free earth crystal. That's sick. That is sick. Which I can donate literally right now and complete a bundle. Don't know why I haven't been doing that. <laughs> you know what shit happens. It's a grain. I don't think I've ever had amaranth anything. An herb. <laughs> yes! And I got five Omni Geodes. Love that for me. He's so sick. Flex on us with your disposable income. I will. I will. <clears throat> I've joined the upper class. I don't think anyone else in Stardew Valley has this kind of money anyways, so... Definitely, like, no land or, like, barely any equities, though. Melanie, thank you for the follow. <laughs> ah, okay. I need a plant. Also, I wish I would have grown coffee. If I grow... So let's say hypothetically that if I had a coffee seed, can I grow it in a pot in a shed? Oh, look at this. Oh, how oh, perfect. Would you look at that? I can make a little bit more fall seeds too. Um, so that I could be fast. Gotta go fast. Or yes, I may. Damn. Okay, vibes. That might be in our stars then, folks. I should move that little scarecrow over here just for good measure. Ta da! Um, do 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 do. Whoa, girl! That was a lot. Oh, I need a hazelnut, and then I can make one more. <clears throat> well, if I had a pot, I would. You know I would. I gotta befriend Evelyn, too. Hazel Newt? This is so sick. Okay. Someday. Um, don't hold your horses yet. <laughs> but someday, I will be able to make so many tea saplings. And then we'll have to see if it was worth the money and the effort. Which, the effort wasn't really a lot, so... I mean, I'm gonna have to... How many... How many wild seeds does it take to make a tea sapling, though? That's the question. I don't have the recipe, so I have to figure that out. It is... Wait, what? Um, two? Wait, is this a joke? Two wild seeds makes a tea sapling? I have like 150 right now. Okay, sick. 
Maybe I will get super fucking filthy rich. All right, cool. So, why don't you replant where the sprinklers are? What are you talking about? I don't have any spare sprinklers. Do I? My gosh, you're so right. I should have planted there. That would have been nice. Can I plant maybe just my fall seeds real quick? It's 4.50 p.m. Um, 16. Yeah, let's throw them on there. Thank you for letting me know. I would have totally forgot. Traveling cart tomorrow. Um, with the rest of my energy, I'm just going to chop tree. All I live for on this save is like going to the traveling cart. That's like literally all I care about. Everything else is snooze fest. Uh -huh. Is that a bush? Ooh, let me get these trees real quick before it gets out of control in this area. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do when winter comes. I'm going to have, like, no money. Am I going to have a greenhouse? Probably not. Because to do that, I need some of these to come in. And then I also need to get really lucky at the traveling cart. So I don't think I'm going to have, I'm gonna have a greenhouse. But I got to really work on my friendship with Evelyn. Get some pots. What are the restrictions for the pots? Like, I can put them inside. I haven't really, like, used them before. I could put them inside and put whatever I want in them. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it. Uh, yes or no. Christ, there's like no fucking room over here. Thanks for the laughs and good vibes. Um, Just caught up on VODs on clips. The last happy to be here. I thought you got it from being Lisp friends with Evelyn. Am I wrong? Lisp tiny PLS. Thank you, Marzilla. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for always checking out the clips. The last it means a lot. <clears throat> Let's see. They can go anywhere and plant anything other than ancient fruit. So I have to wait for pots. I have to unlock the greenhouse before I can get pots. Just fucking look it up. Easier. Okay. Garden pot is a crafted item that allows crops to be grown indoors. Also be used to grow crops on the farm or... Oh, uh, soon after the greenhouse is completed, Evelyn visits the farm and gives the player one garden pot. Damn, so you don't even have to be friends with her? That is tough. Because my income is not going to be very lucrative in the winter. They have no animal products. Hmm. What do you guys think would be a good way for me to make money in the winter? Probably the tea saplings might help me, to be so honest. Like, I think that the tea saplings might really save my butt a little bit. Besides, like, whatever I can do with, like, the mines and stuff. And then maybe also, instead of selling raw crops anymore, I'm just not going to. I'm just going to try to process them all. If that even helps a significant amount. I don't know. <clears throat> feels like a scam it feel i think uh, personally for me i think it feels like a scam to not get the pots until after you get the greenhouse but yeah i think that the um definitely the tea saplings in the winter that might actually help us a lot because there will be like tons of forageables um that we can plant 
get some little CDs going. Dude, easy mode. All right, well, it's dark. I have no ring. <laughs> Just sleep through the winter. <laughs> the winter in this game is so boring. Like, even when you do have no like restrictions or anything, I find myself getting really, really bored. And it ends up being like the time where I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna play Stardew as much anymore. You know? It's just not fun. Not eventful. <clears throat> so it'd be really nice to stock up on some money so that we can at least be in the desert. That could be really fun. Something to do that's not like just the boring old mines here. And then no fishing as well. That's, a, that's at least something that fills the time, even if it sucks and is stupid boring. <laughs> In reality, you guys got scammed. Got to prove to Evelyn that you're a pro gardener. <sighs> she just wants access to that greenhouse. Start skull cavern no kill is going to be so hard. I know, it's going to be bad. I would love to be, like, stocked up on staircases, like, as much as possible before. It would be so nice. And very helpful, at least, you know, but I don't know how possible that is. We'll see. We'll just have to wait and say, um, wish me luck, I guess. <clears throat> It's gonna be hard, like, literally on the first floor when one of those little dragon guys starts running at me. <laughs> what a freaking joke. But we gotta give it a good old college try, don't we? Alright. I already said hi to my cat. I don't even know. I, like, forgot about him. Trade the jade for the staircases. I'm stocking up on them right now. I haven't sold any of my jade. <clears throat> Where were we earlier today when we walked into the mine and it was like, all of a sudden there was like two jade rocks. I wonder if that was totally random or if that was like location specific. Would you look at all of this? Look at that. Less work for me. That's so nice. <clears throat> and typically on like um like a different save where i don't have the vegan restriction i feel like i can only really <laughs> like being in the mines with the spicy eel that's like my go-to little snack so i gotta be a little bit more prepared and definitely be cooking food before i go um, something else that I think will really help is actually espresso. At least so I can get around. <laughs> God damn, it's so hard. So hard not killing anything. I can't even imagine how much of a fucking disaster nightmare it's gonna be. Damn corns. Growing at different times. Damn you. Pinterichio? Hello. Thank you for joining. Um, corn. <laughs> Why did I grow so much corn? This is so funny. <laughs> Maybe I'm just like corn obsessed. Obsessed with the corn lifestyle. That's hilarious. God. Mm. So uncomfortable. TMI, I've been on my period and I just feel like shit. I hate everyone. In pain. Fucking pissed off at the world. You know how it is. <laughs> they have rubies. Trade for spicy eel. I'm vegan. I can't. I can't eat anything that's not vegan. 
Um, so, no shot. And, yeah. I'm just gonna keep trying to process as much as I can. Um, Friday, let's go. Let's freaking go! Traveling car, let's go! Here you two twinsies. Yay! We'll hate life together. <laughs> My god. Ah, it just sucks. I already took like a little my doll earlier and I'm like, I just it's not helping. It really hasn't been this bad in a long time. Like this whole week has been so unproductive and I've been so irritable and like Somebody will look at me and not be smiling and I'll be like, in my head, I'm thinking like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like stuff like that. Like when I'm out in public, I'm like, oh my God, like I'm so annoying. Red snapper. Don't know if that's anything yet. Crab cake. I could get it to give to, who is it? Smelly it that likes it. Lucky lunch. There's muscle. Um, I haven't been allowing myself to pick up any of the shells from the beach <laughs> because a lot of them, I feel like, have little creatures in them, right? So I haven't been doing that. So let me see. We've got crab pot. Muscle. I'm going to have to buy that. I allowed myself to pick up this shell because it said someone lived here once. But the cockle, the oyster, the mussel, periwinkle... I decided I'm not allowed to pick that up. It doesn't feel very veege to me. And then red snapper. Okay, good. Ugh. There's like another red fish that's always in the traveling cart. So I never get excited when I see a red fish because it's not one of the bundle things. Okay, mussel. Now, I could totally buy the crab cakes to give to Smelly it. What is lucky lunch? Like, what is that? Remind me, I always smile when looking at list when she's on her period. Yeah, if you look at me wrong, like, I, it literally ruins my day. Like, oh, my God. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> uh, okay. Um, so. I'm looking for lucky lunch. I totally forgot what I was doing. Factory reset. Lucky lunch is a cooked dish with what? Oh. Sea cucumber. And a blue jazz. Well, I don't think there's any point in me buying this because I can't even really eat it. Sea cucumber is not... It's a living. <laughs> is it? Or am I mistaken? Um, I will buy the crab cakes, though, to give to Smelly it, if that's... Yeah, he likes it. Okay. <clears throat> it's an animal. I figured, yeah, I just... You know, there is a very big chance I could be wrong. Cranberry pills to help with your period? They help so much with inflammation? I've never taken them, no. I didn't even know that was a thing. Do you get it like sprouts or something? Okay, um, I'm on a fast track trying to find Elliot. Please, God. I don't want to accidentally eat it. Holy shit. It'd be so sad. Ah, I found him. Here you go. Rocco Liss, this is a beautiful gift. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm allowed to pick up this shell. <laughs> oh, I gotta repair this as well. How much is that? 300 pieces of wood? Uh, maybe when I get closer to having... a... Uh, spouse. Maybe, I don't know. Coral? I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure coral is safe, right? I think coral would be safe. And what else spawns over there? The sea urchin, I would say no. I'm so excited. I love, this is why I love the traveling cart so much. Yes! 
Yay! Okay, cool. Very exciting stuff. And then what else did I get? Nothing? Pomegranate I've already donated. Um... Okay, easy mode. <clears throat> Coral is living. I would say by the time it's washed up on the shore, though, it's probably not, right? Just try to dunk on me with Coral is living. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will give you the... Ah, oh, shit! Caroline, no! <laughs> no, you... No, I'm so sorry! <laughs> That's so sad. I thought that she would... Just be okay with berries. God damn it. She hated it. That's so, that's so funny. <sighs> so much for being friends with Caroline, right guys? Anyways, it'll reset, but oh, I'm so mad. Gosh, dang it. Okay. It's a plant animal, if you can believe it. <clears throat> what washes up on the shore is not living. That's what I thought. That's what I figure. But... I'm not a professional. Mm, glazed yams. Oh, this is uh, Lewis likes glazed yams. I have money, so <laughs> yeah, that's right, guys. I have money. Oh, isn't Lewis standing up there? Hold on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's like chilling over by the doctor's office. Hello, I bring you your favorite food. <clears throat> Walgreens sells them. You get them at Costco. Sprouts probably has them. Be a common supplement. I don't take any supplements. I don't. I don't know anything about supplements. <clears throat> I used to take an iron pill when I was in high school, but um, since I don't go to the doctor anymore, I just don't take them. <laughs> And multivitamins are so expensive. It's like, dude, who has money for that? I'm sorry. I would rather buy anything else than spend like $30 on like a fucking tube tub of multivitamins or whatever. Oh God, now I'm going to get a bunch of, you should absolutely take them. <laughs> <clears throat> In this economy? A case of Red Bull? Absolutely. <laughs> B12 makes your pee neon? That's kind of fun and exciting. <sighs> A little bit of spice in your life? Um, God, there's like nothing else to do today. I don't really want to go to the mines. I don't want to do any of that. Shoot. Junk garbage. What all can I sell? Like, of the random stuff that's just, like, in here. I've got to have some stuff that's pretty useless. Mixed seeds we've got. We could just plant them real quick. Yeah, why not? Mixed seeds. Um, earth crystal. Don't you have... So you have earth crystal for mayonnaise, yeah. So I tend to save them, but like if we're all being honest here, is there any other use for the earth crystal or should I just sell them real quick? Earth crystal. It's a type of mineral foraged in the mines. Ba -da 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 -ba -ba. Used in the geologist bundle, done that, been there, done that. 10 earth crystals for the earth ob obelisk. Um, probably won't be happening to me anytime soon. Oh. Thank you, Devil Blade, appreciate it. Yeah, mayonnaise machine, um, so I don't really need to keep it. It's cool, okay, we're good. Unless anybody else has objections. <laughs> Go neon piss girl. Emeralds, I've been saving as gifts. Emeralds, diamonds. Fire quartz. I haven't even donated a fire quartz to the museum. <gasps> You're joking. Oh my goodness.
Geologist bundle, slime egg press. Probably not going to happen to me. Oh, fire quartz. One of them gives you three re refined quartz. I actually did not know that at all. Sick. Um... I'm going to sell them. <laughs> I don't know. I I just would, I guess, maybe rather just have the money. How much do they sell for? Hold on. I'm just going to check real quick. Oh, 50. Oh, wait. Just hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 100 gold. Mm. Kazlop. Thank you. Collagen for skin, hair, nails, aging. Do you, I need it? Probably not. Are my nails stronger? Yeah, kind of. If you see the result, go for it. I've been seeing people put like, or companies put collagen and skincare. Um, I'll save one to donate to the museum. And I think somebody said online that collagen, when it's not ingested, is kind of useless. What is everyone's thoughts on that? Also, is this a trash machine? Oh, never mind. <laughs> not a trash machine. Just thought maybe I would check. Rusty Spur, you're getting sold. I don't know about any of that other stuff. Oh, oh this is a trash machine. Hey, that is a trash machine. I don't know if I put one away. I am a trash machine. Oh, I did. I did. Never mind. <clears throat> Collagen tastes bad, does it? Collagen is too large of a molecule to sink into your skin topically, so yes, ingestion is the best way to get more out of collagen. Don't fall for these dirty companies' nasty little tricks. Listen to me instead. <laughs> Uh. Suck at swallowing pills, so I try to take the gummy version of everything. I kind of suck at it too, but... I wish they made... I wonder if this is a thing. Gummy birth control. For some reason, every time I like take a pill, I'm like, ugh. It takes me a minute. I have to like really prepare for it. Don't know why I'm, I just don't like it. I don't like taking medicine like at all really care about that there um gummy birth control would be so sick multivitamins are huge though near death experience every morning oh my god they are so big why yeah that's probably another reason why i think multivitamins are dumb too big of a pill too scary no thank you Who's with me? Oh, there's bread outside too. Okay, so I have a bunch of stuff in here, but I don't think any of it is really... I could make more seeds really quickly, possibly. Yeah, nice. So there's that. And then eventually I'll be able to make the saplings if Caroline doesn't hate me before then. Um, What am I gonna do? Chop down trees, honestly, I don't wanna go to the mines. It doesn't sound fun for me right now. Do up a bit of banana, put your bigger pills in it, makes them easier to swallow. Interesting. You gotta you gotta baby bird it to yourself. <laughs> Made me practice by swallowing M&Ms. I think I strictly only really took liquid medicine as a child, which is also horrible. 
It still takes me so much cor courage if I have to take liquid me Okay, hey. <laughs> so much courage if I have to take liquid medicine as like a adult. <laughs> Del, thank you for the follow. <clears throat> choo choo train your next multivitamin. <laughs> God. I don't feel good, you guys. I don't know if it's it for me today. I might have to end just so I don't have to force it. But holy shit, dude. Maybe I'll take like a, another Midol and. I don't know, I only took one. And so I'm thinking maybe I'll take another one, eat something, and like. not move. Ugh, or move. It might feel good. You know what? Yesterday, I went to the gym. And I don't go to the gym when I'm on my period because it's horrible for me. But, like, I went to the gym and I barely did anything. Like, I straight up, I was like, I'm going to do arms today. I did, like, it literally, like, one little arm machine. And I was like, mm, I'm going to go stretch. But it was nice, like, to just stretch and move my body a little bit. Maybe I'll just go like walk on the treadmill or something. That might make me feel good. Hello, cowgirl. Liquid is way worse because at least with a pill you can avoid tasting it. The liquid medicine tastes so, so bad. It's vomit inducingly bad for me. I hate it. Heating pad and try to sleep it off. Heating pad helps, definitely. I tried to use my heating pad last night, but it was so fucking hot, dude. Like, <laughs> I set my um, AC at, like, 71, which is crazy for me. Like, we keep it at, like, 76, 77, 78, typically, at night. And then 75 during the day, or, like, maybe 74, depending on how hot it is. Just because it really does get like super cold in here. And I don't know, that might sound crazy to you guys, but like, that's like normal temperature for me, I guess. But it was so fucking hot last night because I had the heating pad on, I was like sweating and it was so unpleasant and so, I was so mad. So I set the AC down so I could have my heating pad on. But it's so hot that it's like using the heating pad is just like not a good experience. I don't know if anyone else can relate to that, but holy shit, it's horrible. <laughs> AC says 74 lowest in my house. Anytime I mention that like 78 is like a normal temperature for me to keep the AC at, I always get people that are like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Kill yourself, loser. <laughs> Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 75, 76 during the day. Anything is anything colder than that is so cold. I'm wearing a blanket around the house. Keep the house at 79, 80 during really hot summer days. Is it because, like, that it's harder to, like, keep the temperature lower? I feel like 80... My grandma has her house at 80, typically. And that's probably why I'm so acclimated to it being, like, really warm. <clears throat> Parsons' parents keep it at, like, 71. I'm like, dude, you guys are crazy. When I lived with them, I wore long sleeves in the house and did not go anywhere without a blanket. I'm going to use this as my tree thing, like somebody suggested earlier. That was a good idea. AC is stuck at 68. I would be so upset. It would be so, so cold. 70 in my place. Love snuggling up like that. So it's this cold. Yeah. It's fine. Like, I don't mind snuggling up, I guess. But if I can just keep it at a, like a comfortable temperature so I don't have to, that's preferable for me. <clears throat> yeah, my grandma was always like, she policed the AC like crazy. Oh, I forgot about these seeds. Maple seeds. No. 
next time. <clears throat> I remember living with her in high school and there was like the peak hours or whatever for when you could um, do your laundry and it was like peak hours for like the the SRP, which is like the power company or whatever. And so it would be like, we recommend you don't do dishwasher or laundry during this time of the day and you do it during this time of the day instead. And then you get like a little bit of a lower rate, right? So my grandma, when I was in high school, we would obviously, we would do the peak hours for laundry, didn't really use the dishwasher, um, but we would do peak hours for that. And then um, she got to the point where she was like, so insane about it she would only run the ac during the the non-peak hours that we could save money i'm like oh my god grandma it's literally like ten dollars a month please i need some air <laughs> it was so horrible i was i would get so mad at her 71 right now always freezing do you have a little blankie <laughs> okay that's it for me today guys i don't i can't do it my I'm hurting. I'm having a hard time. Arizona question. Since it's required by law to have working AC there, do you have to pay extra in your electric bill when it's a regularly hot out? Um, like in the 110s? Pay extra in your electric bill. Well, like, the electric bill definitely goes up a lot in the summer because, like, you have to just run the AC. Like, you can't just not. And in the winter... You really don't need the heater on. So I noticed that the bill's more expensive in the summer, but there's no like subsidi subsidization, subsidy or anything because it's like a law. You just have to have it working. And if you, like if you're living in a rental, say my AC broke, they would have to like figure out a way to either get it working like ASAP or like sometimes as, They'll fight you on it, but they have to put you somewhere, like get you a hotel or something. Um, they will fight you on it, but they have to do that. They have to fight. You have to have AC. Like you can't rent out a unit without, you know what I mean? Um, without it having AC. Another thing too, that if they don't put you up or anything, like if they're not willing to do that and they fight you on it, like during the time, you can just stop paying your rent. I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily recommended, but you should not be paying your rent. And um, I guess it depends, though, because a lot of the times, like, if they're crazy enough, if these these companies, do, if anything, they have the audacity, if they're crazy enough, then they'll um, file, like, a civil suit, which not a lot of people can pay for and fight. So it's kind of just like, uh, fix my AC as soon as you can. Same in Vegas. My AC went out once and we just entered triple digits. Wouldn't wish that even on my worst enemy. It's the worst. Oh my God, it's the worst. I don't have AC in my car for like, until I'm driving for like 15 minutes and then it kind of blows like at least just not hot air. <laughs> but it's so disgusting. It's, oh my God, I just can't even imagine what it would feel like not to have AC in the house right now. It'd be so sad. Whispering Moon, thank you for the follow. Our county just asked us to set our temps to 78 during the day because of the heat wave so we don't overload the grid. Are you in Texas? <laughs> oh my God. The whole Texas thing, I had no idea you guys were literally like the wild west over there. Like what is this like weird libertarian paradise that you guys have going on with your power grid? Why is it like that? Holy shit. Live in central Texas, so I've never heard of those kind of circumstances. Yeah, if it happens to you, like like when you're in Arizona, they will fight tooth and nail to fuck you over because they know that like a lot of these companies that are, like do the rentals or like apartment complexes, they know that like it's expensive to sue for however much off the rent is gonna be. Like if they don't fix it for a month, it's like, well, are you gonna sue for a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars of that rent, or are you gonna? just let it go you know because it's so expensive like to do that kind of stuff and to like keep up with it and not everybody can so they'll just like straight up just fuck you over and make you figure it out 
and won't fix it for like however long. But at a certain point, like you can like call the police, you can call the city, like you can do all this stuff. It's just not everybody knows that straight up like should not, that it's illegal here not to have working AC. Free market energy in Texas is wild. <laughs> Okay, yeah, what happens if you guys succeed from secede? Is it, is secede? S -s 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 fuck. <laughs> A word I haven't said out loud since like high school. What happens if you guys secede, secede from the United States in Texas? Then what? Like, that'd be so crazy. My God, this, the world is crazy right now. The country is like insane. My state has just done some very questionable things. And I think it's specifically to like, Arizona's a weird, a weird um, testing site for all of the weird uh, fascist laws that uh, the far right wants to introduce to the country. So we have like subsidized private schooling now, I guess, so that if any kid is withdrawn from public schooling, they get like $7,000 a kid to put them in private school, to go towards private school now. That's really interesting. Our governor has always been trying to like privatize school because it's a industry and public school doesn't make money, private school does. So yeah, kind of crazy. Um, and that comes out of public school budget. And then also the new, I don't know if you guys heard that you can get arrested for recording the police now here in Arizona. And it's not like this law actually really like stands up constitutionally, but I think that he put it into law so that it can get challenged and then probably end up going to the higher courts and see what happens there because obviously things are going very well for the right there, so. Texas is the only state that can break into five states whenever they want. What do you mean by that? I don't know. Kinda crazy. It's troubling. Everything has been so troubling in the world lately. Hasn't been cool or fun or great. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Anyways, my period hurts. I don't want to do this anymore. Love you guys. I don't feel like streaming. And I'll be in better spirits, hopefully tomorrow. And if I'm not, then I'm just not gonna stream. You know what I mean? Like, good vibes only. We literally only want good vibes, so. Um, Caroline, thank you so much for the tier one. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you, thank you for two months of love. It means a lot. I appreciate that so much. Thank you guys for always being nice to me, even when I'm like a fucking raging bitch when I'm on my period and I, be like shit. <sighs> Can we get a D Genshin section in the Discord? I will try to remember to do that tonight. I will try my best. Why don't you ping me in the Discord so I can't ignore it? <laughs> it was established when Texas joined the US, but they would never do it because they'd all Still want to be Texas. That is so interesting. You guys could just make five states whenever you want. I like the number 50. <laughs> I think. <laughs> what if we dropped Texas and added DC? And then what other what other states could we drop? <laughs> drop another state. Add Puerto Rico if they want statehood, right? Drop Florida. Yeah, do a quick little slip swap. Huh? <clears throat> Drop Florida for Puerto Rico. Drop Texas for DC. Just throwing out ideas, you guys. If anybody wants to uh, pass them on, <laughs> pass them on up. The, uh, ladder that'd be super cool drop Alaska what did Alaska do <laughs> drop Hawaii yeah give Hawaii their independence <laughs> what did Alaska do <laughs> I live in Florida 
Come here. Actually, wait, don't. You don't even like it here. <laughs> Russia wants Alaska back? Damn. For what? Alaska cruise? <laughs> My friend's in Alaska right now. She's, uh, um, took a bartending job up there just to, like, go fucking be in Alaska for the summer. I'm like, okay, that sounds like fun. <laughs> How cool to just do that. <clears throat> Shay from Alaska, even though she's not from Alaska at all. Fake Alaska fan, Shay. <laughs> they are connected, right? Don't they touch? Don't they kiss a little bit? They kiss. Alaska and Russia. They kiss. Come to Massachusetts, the right slap here. <clears throat> I've heard from some people. I have two friends that are from Massachusetts. They call it Mass. They're from Massachusetts and they hate Massachusetts. And then I have two other people that like went out there to study or whatever and they love it. So what's the consensus on Massachusetts? Planning on moving to Boston as soon as I can afford it. I'm assuming Boston's expensive. I haven't been, but I'm assuming probably. Bearing straight freezes, and I think that's when they connect. That's when they key. <clears throat> I mean, I moved here from the south, so it's kind of night and day for me as a queer person. I hate this game. True. Oh no. Oh no, Steven. <laughs> Me too. Maryland seems cool. I don't know where I would want to move to. I always, I love California. I don't love LA. I love California. Just like in general. I live in a lot of places in California, but sick of Arizona. Just the heat mostly. I was talking to someone the other day, I forgot what we were talking about, but they were like, oh yeah, like I know people that they just come and stay in an Airbnb during the summer months to stay in LA and do that. And I'm like, that's kind of like, that's kind of an interesting idea. If you could somehow like just not rent during the summer, maybe just do a short term rental somewhere that you don't want to fully commit to living to. Doesn't have to be an Airbnb. Fuck Airbnb. Fuck Airbnb. Fuck Airbnb. Fuck Airbnb. Fuck Airbnb. Steven, you're the best. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. I hate this game. Don't move to LA if you can help it. Live here because family born and raised. <clears throat> I think you always have a certain perception on where you live if you're from there. <laughs> My stream was broken. <laughs> uh, did I stutter? But <clears throat> I love Arizona. I love Phoenix. I don't want to live here forever because I would like to experience something else. But Phoenix isn't bad by any means. Like, it's definitely perfectly fine here. The only thing is, like, if there is a way where I could just, like, pop over somewhere with nicer weather during the summer, I totally would. What's like, what would be the inverse of a snowbird? Like a, a sun bum. You specific beef with Airbnb? No, I just think it's ruining society. Don't move to Cincinnati, I can tell you that. Not gonna lie, I don't even know what state Cincinnati's in. <laughs> what the fuck is Cincinnati? <laughs> ah, a sunfish! Jada, I like that, actually. Ohio? Ohio's for lovers, so... <laughs> Ohio, holy shit. I haven't heard about Ohio in a really long time. I think the last time I heard about Ohio was in sixth grade when somebody was like, oh, I'm from Ohio. And I remembered that girl. 
<laughs> oh. You live a mile away from Kentucky? Does Kentucky have good fried chicken? Yes or no? Or is that just a Kentucky fried stereotype? <laughs> it's me, I'm the girl from Ohio. <laughs> uh, I don't remember this girl's name. I do remember that she was one of the first people to have a bra in elementary school. Yeah. Good for her. <laughs> <clears throat> Minnesota girly now, thank God. Town has four fried chicken places next to each other. Maybe I should get Popeyes right now. Last time I heard about Ohio was their anti-trans people in sports, school sports bill. Oh yeah, weren't they trying to do some sort of like, like chromosome testing or something on athletes or some sort of thing that... I read a thing that was like um, talking about how the Olympics, I think I saw this on the New York Times one day, the Olympics tried to do something where they could test gender and sex. And so they were trying to do that. And then they found out that a lot of athletes are intersex because there's a lot more people that are intersex in society than you could ever even know, you know, because it's like, just happens. Right? And so they, they stopped doing the testing because then they were having trouble um, putting people into the box boy grill. <gasps> Lucario's. Hello. Thank you so much for nine My months. Besties. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you for the uh, sub baby. I don't know. Did you guys read that at all? I wonder if I could find that again. But yeah, I think that the last I heard Ohio was trying to do that. <clears throat> Intersex people are as common as gingers. Fun fact. Oh! Oh! My hair doesn't look red on camera, but... I am a boner fied ginger! <laughs> kind of. Yeah, I think they were, like, trying to do that testing, and then they found out that, like, not everybody has, like, the perfect chromosomes or whatever or whatever the fuck it's called i'm so sorry i'm not a science person you know if you need any more ohio news okay if you were if i was like hey i'm coming to ohio what would you say is like you gotta do this this is the thing to do in ohio what is it my ohio town had a racist mascot just ruled against critical race theory in schools yo <laughs> Jesus criminy. Jesus Christ. Oh, Lavender, thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy. I appreciate that so much. Literally nothing. Leave. <laughs> Go anywhere but Lima. I went to college there. Is that where the Lima bean is from? Because if not, I'd be disappointed. What's a rock thing in Ohio? Good amusement parks in Ohio? See, I feel like Ohio comes up a lot on the Defunct Land YouTube channel, right? I feel like you hear about, that's the only time you hear about Ohio. <sighs> Lima sexist. Sorry to shit on Ohio so much. <laughs> The corn henge. What? Don't tell me this is real. You're. <coughs> what? <gasps> you guys have a thing called the corn henge? That is so funny. Moon the raccoon, thank you. Cedar Rapids? <laughs> Cedar Point? Yeah, I've heard of that before. That's in Ohio, I had no idea. This is so amazing. I love it. <laughs> I, 
love this really artsy photo. It's like during golden hour and shit. <laughs> Hello, Katie. <laughs> okay, guys, my uterus is really killing me. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go heating pad and vibe. Um, cause you know how we do, but I love you guys. I'm sorry. I can't stream for very long. Just feel like shit. So no more ado. Um, I'll let you know about tomorrow. Like if I feel like it, but love you guys. Thank you for being here. Um, do I get Popeye's? <laughs> no, I think I'm going to make a uh, frozen pizza and watch more housewives. Okay. Or maybe get Popeyes. Fuck, I don't want to leave the house though. It's like 100 degrees. Okay, anyways, I'm going to shut up. Bye guys, love you. I'm sorry. Forgive me. New video tomorrow. Okay, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, we're going to raid Corncob. So go say hi to Corncob. Um, copy the raid message. You get channel points if you do come on over. Copy the raid message. Go blast it in chat. Uh, let's go say hi to Corncob and go have a fabulous, amazing rest of our Thursday. Okay, love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thanks for dealing with me even though I'm a raging hormonal bitch and, like, don't feel as high energy. Okay, love you. <laughs>